what's going on guys back at it again with a brand new series here on the channel so assassin's creed is a franchise that is pretty near and dear to my heart and holds a pretty important part of my life as a kid if you guys didn't already know i have said it in previous videos uh here and there but assassin's creed used to be my favorite franchise period until i really discovered you know some uh, Bethesda titles like Fallout and Elder Scrolls, which those completely took over my life once I discovered them. But Assassin's Creed at one point was my favorite franchise of all time, which makes me extremely excited to play Assassin's Creed, the first one, and the entire franchise here on the channel, starting of course with the first one. Now, full disclosure, I have played this game. I didn't like it when I was a kid. I didn't start liking Assassin's Creed until the second one uh, with Ezio and everything, but I always loved the main protagonist in this game, which is, of course, Altair. But uh, I felt like this game was very repetitive in its gameplay loop. Uh, I don't know if that's going to hold true uh, today, uh, but you never know. I still want to go ahead and try this game out here on the channel and see how I like it. I'm still going to force myself through it, uh, because I never hated the game. I, I did enjoy it, but it wasn't the best Assassin's Creed, in my opinion, in terms of gameplay. But the story is pretty solid. I am very excited to get this started, though. I hope going back and seeing this game from a different and older and more mature perspective. And I say mature in quotes. <laughs> but... but uh, I hope that with these eyes as a, an older individual, I hope that I have a different perspective of this game. So, yeah, there's that. First things first, though, before we actually get into this, I am playing this on PC. Uh, and I know the preferred way to play is with a uh, controller. However, the first two games, to my understanding, on PC don't have controller support outside of the 360 uh gamepad and i'm not entirely sure why that is obviously you know the xbox one has backwards compatibility so there's that i'm not entirely sure how it's gonna be uh i have to probably get used to the controller so it's probably gonna be some shoddy gameplay at first but without further ado do me a huge favor drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's jump into this gameplay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That looks creepy. Get away from me. Button one. Oh, that was punching. Okay, I see. Running is... Button two apparently is the right uh, button on... This on my uh on my mouse. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment. Retreat. Hold on, what is going on? Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try Button and one and space. Oh, okay, I see. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what uh shift just a picture of the past. Okay, so that's how I get it out of people out. out of the way. Stop pushing me, Give it a moment, homeless man. Rude. The first time is never easy. Am I supposed to go anywhere in particular? We're losing it. That's enough, Mr. Okay, I think I'm understanding a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm understanding a little bit. Doesn't seem too hard. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now <laughs> I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We know yes. who you are. What you are. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Both. Lie down. Press any button to interact. A wise decision. I apologize for the volume in the beginning. I didn't realize I had it down. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside. <laughs> All you can see is their foreheads. Which is it's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? Elephant. It's a <laughs> recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. My okay. Question, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Okay. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix That's Kristen Bell. She's such you a... Find a memory you can She's so cute, man. <laughs> from there. IRL, by the way. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Good, because I definitely need to learn these controllers. All right, so I'll run like that. Warning. It's going to be hard. Unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding. How in sync you are with your ancestors. In sync? Memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. So then who am I? Currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. Since I'm in sync, who specifically am I? Justin Timberlake? The concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. Okay. While it's so down, weird playing with keyboard and mouse. Observe your environment. Uh, press first person E while standing still to enter first person mode. Okay, so this allows me to look around. Good. 
awesome. To walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Okay. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. You gonna let me through or what? Excuse you. A master assassin coming through. Here to tear up the souls of the individualized corruption of society. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. It not, almost nothing changes. <laughs> we will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker. I receive using the empty hand button in high profile. Cool. Good. That's gonna probably come in handy at some point. Although I remember specifically your leg button in high profile never using that. You to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone. Or you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. Yes, ma'am. While sprinting, I never reach fall. The marker before this man does. Too easy. No, run. Oh, wait, wrong button. I messed that up. I'm gonna have to do it again. Hold on, let's go. Run. Oh, he's fast. Well done. Get out of here, you Templar freak! Ooh, yes. Provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. Okay. The color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock okay. on to your target. Locked on? Now what? Now, select your hidden blade. I'm trying to. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Uh, I'm about to say it's not letting me. I guess I have to just be a little patient. I'll tell you, you're so cool, man. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. So I have to gently push him? Assassin! Notice Stop how him. the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Yes. You think you can run. run me? Coward. Excellent. The line we gotta hide now. Been broken. Now run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Yes, ma'am. You the can't find me. Woohoo! Hates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. You would think he would look inside this thing since it's the only thing on this roof, right? You do well to hide. Well, See you later, man. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Awesome sauce. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to this, to be honest. And make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Too easy. Kinda. What else do we got? Some prayer monks. Hey. Another good stuff. Cool. Oh, do we have to fight these guys? The demonstration of blend. 
Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this Arousal. to the marker behind the soldiers. They'll never find me. I'm praying. I'm just another monk, but with a sword. It's the only difference. Don't mind me. I'm just a warrior monk. Here to assassinate you if you get out of line. Uh-oh. I almost messed it up. <laughs> a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Ego Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Okay. Well done. Is that it? So, white, uh, never mind. I wanted to read that. Remember, Ego Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life or by respecting the creed. You have successfully completed Good. the tutorial. Put me the into the world. Memory block will now be loaded. I wish to destroy the Templars. ASAP. Wait! There must be another way. Wait, what? This one need not die. Oh, snap! Uh, it, okay, it goes straight into the action. Fortune favors your blade. Thank you. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Wow, he's arrogant. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Master's taught us. How would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. My way is better. Yeah, he's arrogant. Scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me, only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important, else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Okay, then. Let's go. He is very arrogant. I think I kind of remember that. I think he grows into himself as the game progresses, if I remember correctly. I'm not going to ruin any of the story beats, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Lock on target. Yes. Got him. Can I loot him? Whoa. I mean, I, it is in sync. So I guess he just wanted to dance. That must be the Ark. The, the Ark, Ark of the Covenant? It, the it is. Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's, it's I mean, story. It, it's right there. Quiet. Someone's coming. I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it. Who that be? Robert de Sable. His oh. life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair. You mean cowardice. <laughs> that man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior in both title and ability. You should know better wow. than question me. This guy literally, Altair literally has some issues. Alright, so I'm assuming I have to destroy him now, right? Come here, sir. It's time for Altair to destroy you. Templars, 
You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. Yep. And what is it you want? A cheeseburger. Blood. No, no. Oh, you got punched right in the face. You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay and all of you will die. Oh, snap. Wait a minute. My... My people are still locked in there. Men, to arms. Kill the assassin. Oh no. Run. Wait, hold on. Where am am I going to go back and save him? Kind of feels like I'm running away. Come on. Dude, I think I just got my guys killed for my arrogance. I'm pretty sure I got them killed. So it's not, it's not that bad playing on keyboard and mouse, man. I thought it was gonna be worse, uh, playing Assassin's Creed, obviously with uh, without a gamepad or a controller, if you will. But I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. It's just a little. I gotta get used to it. Where are we going? Are we going back to the real world? Nope. Altair, you've returned. Yes, sir. Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. No, not really. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, sir. Buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. All right, safety and peace. I could assassinate him. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not going to assassinate a fellow Brotherhood member, <laughs> but it was giving me the option to assassinate him. That is all messed up. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I have to go up here, so I don't know why I'm down on this direction. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, look, he goes, there's a lot of Brotherhood members around here. Let's not sprint because there's a ton of people here, and I'm not trying to lose my balance, so... Perhaps. Wow, that guy's rude. He literally said, that guy's going to uh, hurt himself. If he does, I won't help him. Quote, unquote. You know what? Don't worry about what I do, all right? Um, all right, so this should be the entrance. Dude, imagine living in that castle. This is like the Assassin's HQ. Altair staring at it like he's never seen it before. It's like, bro, you pretty much live there. What are you looking at, bro? Beautiful view. But I don't think anything is going to come from that direction, if I'm completely honest, Sue. Uh, bro. But, hey, whatever, man. Do you, boo-boo. Do you. Man, all these citizens really, they talk a lot of crap, don't they? Ah, he returns at last. Yes, sir. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. Uh-oh. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Oh. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Yeah, they don't like me very much. I mean, I wouldn't like me either, to be honest. I'll tell you, you're very, very arrogant. I'm legitimately very curious. I want to see what's up here. Never been up here and would like to. Wait. Oh, weapon restriction. All right, got it. Uh, is there any like secrets or anything up here? No, but there's a ton of assassins. There's gotta be a secret, right? 
They wouldn't give me access unless there was a secret. Hey, what's up, fellas? Subject cannot access memory at this time. Okay, so this is a future part. Tracking. So, I guess let's go back down and talk to the master. Since the master is in... Uh... Urgent... Oh, fuck! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Maybe I should uh, go straight to the master. Is this him? The master oh no, these are like some... Scholars or something. Or maybe they're mages, I don't know. Hey, master. Altair, masters, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. Yes, I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you, I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You do nothing. He is You've angry. Enough. He's not very happy with us right now. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. Dead. No. No. <gasps> not dead. Malik. I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Oh no. Because of you. Robert <laughs> threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning. All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Oh no! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I bought your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Oh, he found it! Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Oh, snap! Master. We are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. Uh-oh. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair. Uh-oh. Our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It yes, ma'am. Oh, I thought I was going to actually fight. Oh, I am going to fight. Hold on, where... Where are they? Where's all the enemies? Are they retreating to the fortress? Or did the fight take place here? It's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Kill. Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Let's do this. So keep them distracted. I'm assuming that means fight. Uh, hidden blade, fist, throwing knives. Why is it out of order? It goes two, four, one, three. Okay, so select my sword. Oh no, that's three. Let's get down to business. Where are they? Is there literally no enemies around here? Oh, there we go. It's time to duel. Go. I remember literally going through this entire game by only attacking. Let's go. Oh, God. Got him. Yeah, see, it's not super tough. No. 
ow. Button one to deflect. Oh, that dude literally got chopped in half. So where am I going now? This way? Come on, buddy. Stop deflecting me and fight me like a real chicken head. Ah! Ooh! Alright, I definitely gotta utilize those a lot more. The power attacks. I totally forgot how to hold people, though. Not gonna lie. Hey! Did I just literally hit a civilian? Got him. Kill the assassin, you say? I don't think it worked out to your advantage, did it? Dude, there's, they're everywhere. Oh, be nice to me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run! I we're retreating. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we're supposed to come up here. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Okay. Yes. Whatever plan you have, I'm in on it. As long as it, as it's uh for the success of the Brotherhood, I am down. Hold on, is it okay? Is this way? Oh, that's why. This is the part where we have to come up here. Why did the other guy say stop acting like a fool? Stand on that platform, okay. Okay. Oh, we're gonna. I remember. Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Hostage? Who's this guy? <gasps> he murdered him! Your village lays in ruins! And your stars are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? Five minutes. How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. No fear whatsoever. Go to God. Or, all right. So, not entirely sure how I did that, but it's okay. I, uh, oh, oh, he leg. missed. Oh, oh my leg! Quiet. But the Templars will hear us. Oh. Homeboy missed. Ow! That sounded gross. You alright, bro? I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. Oh, that sounds so good. Come on, let's handle some business. We're about to rain on their parade. I think I... I, I mean, it, it's been literal decades since I've played this game so I have vague memories about the plots of or the uh, story beats of this game I still remember the main story beats but the little stuff like this I vaguely remember so wait hold on no get up there what I remember the climbing wasn't that amazing, though, to be honest. There you go. 
Good job, Altair. You know what? I'm not going to climb that stick. I'm just going to go this way. To my understanding, I hear that the climbing in the new games have been better. The last game I played in the series, uh, I believe was Assassin's Creed Unity. I don't really remember. I just remember the game was so buggy, whatever the last game was, that it kind of killed the franchise for me. Oh, snap. Dude, that's... That was sick. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Good. Me, do you know why it is you are successful? I worked as a team? Oh, okay. Worried that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair. All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed. Your disregard for our ways. Yeah, well, he's not lying. What are you <gasps> doing? What? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. <laughs> and stay your tongue. Unless I give you leave to use it. I'll tell you, you so got with this tenant. Then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. No. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child. Or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. Oh, snap. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. You know, he's not wrong. I'm sorry. Truly <gasps> I am. Oh no! I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. I don't trade anything. Otherwise. I'm not a merchant. No choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Oh my god, he stabbed me.